Federal Minister Özdemir, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted for the opportunity to address you today on the 20th anniversary of the German Federal Office of Consumer Protection and Food Safety. I would like to congratulate you on your good work over the last 20 years. Food safety is of key importance to our citizens, and so is food security. The impact of the war in Ukraine shows the challenges we face to ensure food security at all times for citizens in the European Union and for people all over the world. As a result of Russia's aggression, countries still feeling the consequences of COVID now face additional challenges on food security, as well as energy prices, commodity prices and public finances. In the European Union, our most immediate challenge comes from the increased costs of food production. Uh, rising costs for inputs like fuel, feed and fertilizers are pushing up food prices for society. In the longer term, the transition to a more sustainable food system also presents challenges. We need to make sure that everyone has access to sufficient healthy and affordable food, while at the same time ensuring fair economic returns for farmers in the supply chain. We must also ensure that the transition is an inclusive process if we want farmers to make a bigger step towards greater sustainability. We need to fully recognize and reward the efforts they make. Finally, we will also have challenges on the international dimension. Food systems are highly interconnected worldwide. The farm to fork strategy must secure the competitiveness of our farming sector while also promoting a global transition towards more sustainable food systems. Uh, to take the front foot in uh, meeting these challenges, the Commission adopted a communication on safeguarding food security and reinforcing the resilience of food systems. Uh, the communication announced in March of this year sets out actions across three areas. First, immediate actions to safeguard food security in Ukraine and across the globe. We will continue to supply Ukraine with uh, key inputs like seeds, fuel and machinery to support their agricultural production. We are also implementing the solidarity lanes to help Ukraine bring its grain to the market. We must also provide emergency relief for vulnerable populations. Uh, the European Union has already raised billions of euros to aid vulnerable countries, including 1.6 billion euro for Africa and uh, 225 million euro to southern uh, neighborhood. The second area of action outlined in our communication is addressed to the European Union. To support the agricultural sector in Europe, we have adopted a package of short-term measures, including the crisis reserve of uh, 500 million euro, which member states can complement by up to 200 percent with national funds. In the context of rising food prices, European Union funds, such as the Fund for European Aid uh, to the Most Deprived, can also support member states' actions to provide food and basic assistance for our most vulnerable citizens. Finally, our communication reinforces our path towards a more sustainable and resilient food system. This is our only path to long-term food security. As uh, with all parts of our economy, our food system must be more sustainable in the years to come climate change and environmental damage will pose the biggest challenges to food production. We must also ensure that our food system is resilient to external shocks like the uh, one of our now experiencing. 
This is why member states must use their CAP strategic plans to foster resilience and sustainability. We are working closely with member states to uh, finalize plans that make a strong contribution to income security for farmers and food security for society. This is also a global issue. We must support our international partners who are dependent on food imports, boosting their food production and uh, improving the resilience of their food systems. To conclude, the importance of our food was reinforced during the time of the pandemic and now even more so in the time of this cruel war. These times have shown us that food security is of strategic importance equal to the defense and energy security. The European Commission will therefore uh, to do its utmost to work with Germany and all member states to safeguard food security in both Europe and around the world for both our present and our future. Thank you.